Chris and Brian here from Resolve Technology, and today we're talking about Edge versus Chrome. So this is the, the, the battle of all battles for a while now. Microsoft browsers have been seen as a joke because of the Internet Explorer days when Firefox was on its rise to fame and then Chrome came along. But if you're in a micro, like I use both. We use Google Workspaces, and, and but most businesses use Microsoft 365. And you got things like Intune that might push out a homepage for you in Edge or bookmarks. You'd sign in with your work email account a lot of people like to use they use microsoft office and they use chrome and the problem is like they either sign in with a personal gmail account and save all their passwords to that personal account which is a huge security concern or they're not signed into a profile and whenever we change workstations you got to have some kind of awareness oh we got to pull bookmarks for this person because it, it, it's just locally on the workstation there's no account it's signed into with microsoft edge you can just sign in and sync your office 365 account and then you get a new computer or you have a laptop a work laptop for when you're remote as long as you're signed in on both whatever you add is a bookmarks on the other computer same thing with onedrive files in onedrive on your work computer move over to the laptop you're on as well it stays in sync now th they're both chromium based browsers they essentially work the same there's nothing like extensions in chrome but you can grab them from the edge store whatever they call it that has all edge versions of the extensions you might see differences like one's updated sooner but generally you could even go to the Google store and use a Google extension and it works in Edge. They're that similar. It's just I'm using Edge here and you can see but looks a little different. If I bring up Chrome, they honestly work the same in my opinion. I don't I personally just use Edge because we're in Microsoft 365 so much. So it's a logical choice for me. I recently upgraded my work computer, but Chrome and using things like Google Meet, for example, I'd be at 100% RAM usage. Edge is more efficient in my opinion. If I do a side by side of my personal computer, my work computer, computer and maybe like a generic workstation a client uses, I do see that it's a little more lean. Edge is a little bit leaner than Chrome. Now, if you use Google Workspace, Chrome's obviously the logical choice. You can control certain things. You can block extensions almost like a GPO would. I'm not trying to get into the debate of there's a clear cut winner. There's tons of browsers. You could use anything. We just recommend Edge. Another reason why we recommend Edge is because trying to think here, it's one less application you're going to keep updated on the computer. Like you don't need to install Chrome, keep it up to date. Also, you have more options available. Like you said, if you're in a Google Workspace environment, you, you want to stick to Google Chrome. But if you're like Microsoft 365 or you're a hybrid environment where you have some on-premise equipment and some stuff in the cloud, you can use GPOs from the local server or you can use Intune to help manage the Edge browser. And you'll just have more options available than you would with Google Chrome. And the other big thing is if you use Office specifically, Microsoft 365, 65 office, whatever you want to call it. With Teams and with Outlook now, this, we're getting a larger volume of tickets because Microsoft has made it, in Windows at least, harder to change your default browser. It's always bugging you. Hey, you want? You sure you want to switch? Your Edge is great. Or they changed it from Windows 10 to 11. Now you got to change like 10 options instead of just setting one default browser option. So they're making it harder and that rubs people wrong. The Windows haters, I guess you could say, or the, the FOSS fanatics, whatever, whoever it is. And they're not wrong, but it's annoying to see those kinds of pop-ups. But if you use Outlook and Teams, some of those hyperlinks, even if you have Chrome as a default browser, it's going to default to Edge. And th th there isn't a way to change that. So like why as a client, as an end user, why be in Chrome doing all your stuff, but then you're in Outlook or one Outlook or Teams and it's defaulting to Edge. Then you have two different, it's a little more chaotic. Just stick with what, what environment you're in and stick with its products. In the ideal world, you'd want your IT people to have a policy maybe where you pick one or the other and then you lock it down so that all the settings are the same and maybe don't get a lot of these pop-ups and things where it asks you which browser because you've disabled that stuff whether it's through intune or group policy through your local server yeah i also wanted to add that one thing that you some people might like this i don't think chrome has this yet and this article dated in may you can turn on vertical tabs so if you see how all my tabs just move vertically me and brian also have a i believe we did a youtube video on the new edge workspaces right you, it, could, you can invite other employees in but you're not going to be doing that with chrome and microsoft 365
So you could like invite, it's very important for co collaboration. Yeah. Let's go over password manager. Let's pretend both don't have them. We do not recommend. In fact, I generally try to disable that if possible. We but, recommend but, something like Bitwarden. But wouldn't you say that it's better than nothing? So if your company doesn't yes. believe in a password manager, it's better than trying to have, it's better than having one password for everything, right? Like the people yeah, who try to do that it. or they put it into Excel, right? W wouldn't you say at least put it in the browser? Yeah, that, that's a good point. And then the, the better part if you're in Microsoft 365 and you're on edge is it's tied to your work email. That's the key point. I've seen prior clients, new clients, potential clients, all types of clients use where I see people, all their work bookmarks, all their work passwords for accounting information, stuff like that is tied to a personal Gmail account, which as their IT provider, that should make you a little nervous. If they leave the company, they take all the passwords with them. We have seen that <laughs> in the past. And then to remedy that problem is a bit of a pain to say the least like you get rid of somebody or they quit it makes the client look bad like you well, shouldn't have to go through that another one is we've had clients like that had they tied a personal gmail or something to a to the linkedin business account or the facebook business account that's better served for like a shared mailbox. So if they leave and then you just delegate access out that way, when you have it tied to personal email accounts, you're going to have a rough, it's going to be a rough process getting that person's name off of your company and like detaching fully. You'd have right. to get the vendor involved in that case, the social media platform. Right. Was there one last thing that you wanted to say about uh, browsers and the recent issues with the PDFs? I remember you mentioned something in about formatting of PDFs or something like that. Yeah, both. I'm not sure how much better Edge is to the default PDF viewer is than Chrome's, but I we have seen the Chrome PDF, the built-in PDF reader have issues. And then there was some weird print issue with a recent update with one or one or two clients where, you know, if you print some print a PDF and you're using you're not using Adobe or some third party product, you're just using the browser based PDF viewer. When you go to print, it wasn't using the default printer automatically. Like they ha it just used their last used printer. I think it used to just, at least I thought previously, it would just default to whatever Windows had as the default. It didn't seem to be working that way, unless I completely just, there's only so much of my head I can store at some time, but. Yeah, I think we had more issues printing with Chrome PDFs than we did with Edge PDFs, but that may be anecdotal information. So you also have this too. I don't believe Chrome has any of this, but you can have Copilot built in right here. You could probably do this by extension. So you could be signed into your work stuff, your work account, and have a Copilot chat here, Compose. You could add your own links you could click on the business icon and look there's all the windows tools the weird things but then i see i have all the like a link to my firewall link to my dashboard a link to one of our tools a link to a google my cheat sheet like you can add your own links in here and you can add built-in apps that it knows of. So this okay. little tab here is pretty cool and it and just if you're not a fan of this it can be turned off just an FYI. <laughs> all right cool hey thanks a lot for showing us that Chris take